This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you some graph technique by using the new Casio 570EX calculator. Alright, let's say when you go into the exam hall, you have no idea what is the pattern of sine graph, cos graph, and tangent graph. So here is some technique to actually help you to sketch out the graph in the exam hall. Right, so what you can do right now is, let's say, I want to draw a graph for y equals to sine x. And then the x is between 0 and 360. So definitely if I draw myself, I can draw it quite easily. So I will have something like this, and then sine graph will look like this. Alright, I know here will be 360, and then half of it will be 180. And half again will be 90. And then if I divide here into the half will be 270. Alright, let's say if you do not know how to draw the sine graph like this. So what you can do right now is, okay, you go into the menu and then you go into the table. So at the table itself, you can insert your equation. Fx will be your y here. Let's say I want, I'm interested at sine x. So I just type a sine x here. And tap enter you can insert another equation if you wanted to like cos x okay so right now i only focus on sine x so i ignore about this thing i press enter again all right then i tell my calculator i want to range from 0 to 360 so to start with 0 and end at 360 and step will be the interval of them so normally i will prefer either 30 or 45 but here i just use the 30 degree to give you some idea or you can if you just want to know some point you can change this one to 90 if you wanted to but 30 definitely include the 90 180 and 200 and all that so if i type enter again you can see i have a table so i have the 90 degree here so you can see when 90 degree i will add positive one so this one will be my positive one so 90 degree i will have positive one so you can see when i go to the 180 I will add 0, 180 at 0. If I go to the 270, I will go to the negative 1. So the 270 here is basically give me the negative 1. And if I go to the 360, I will go in the 0. So what do I mean here is like, yeah, if you have no idea what's the pattern of the graph, right, you can just randomly like sketch it, like plot, like this is 0, 0. And next one, if 30 degree will be 0 0.5, so 30 degree will be somewhere here. So it's 30 degree, it will go to 0 0.5. And then 60 degree will go to 0 0.866, which is, which is closer to the 1. And 90 degree will be 1. And 120 is still 0 0.866. And then the next one will be 0 0.5 again. And then he will go into the next one, it will go into 0. So by plotting all these coordinate like this you you can actually get the graph from 0 to 360 easily so like what i say just now not necessarily only uh sine graph like this one you can just enter again and then this one you put the cos x if you wanted to so the calculator will give you same idea for cos graph over here so you can see you ha you can easily get all the coordinates here yeah and then you can use this coordinate to give you give yourself some ideas. So over here, I'm going to demo to you how how I will use it. So if I want to draw a cos graph like this, so I do not know how to draw, so I will start with the zero. So the, the focus at x zero. This is degree, right? When x is zero, you will get one. So I start at zero one here, and then when x is thirty degree, you will get zero point eight six six. So it's somewhere closer here. And when x is 60, you will get 0 0.5, lower again. And then when x is 90, you will go to the 0. And then when x is 120, you will go to the negative 0 0.5. And then negative 0 0.866. And so on. So if you plot one by one, and then of course you want to make sure the skew is nicely, you, you actually will get a graph look like this. So this one is basically the y equals to the cos x. Yeah, so I just find out the table function. I find it quite useful for students. Even though you have some weird graph you want to, maybe you just draw the graph yourself. You want to check some coordinate is correct or not. You can always do this. So I give you 
another example here. So let's say uh, the question asked me to sketch a graph like this of uh, y equals to 1 minus sine 2x. And then normally in SPM, the graph thing they will give you in radian. So, okay, they asked me to sketch between example 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so what I, what I will do is, let's say I make the question harder a little bit. So I, let's say I want to see it's 3 sine 2x. So I can sketch this graph myself quickly. So the graph will be like this. This is my x. 1 here basically means the whole graph going to move up 1 unit like this. Alright, then, okay, you have an amplitude 3. That's mean from 1 here, you need to plus 3 units. So it will go up to like 4 here. And then from 1 here, you need to go down 3 units. Sort of plus 3 units and then minus 3 units. So just imagine 1 minus 3, you will go to the negative 2. So this one will be your minimum. And this one will be your maximum. Alright, so sine negative sine graph will start from the bottom so you have the graph something look like this your first cycle and then your second cycle and stop here this one will be 2 pi here will be just uh, here will be just pi and then here will be just divide again pi over 2 this one will be 1.5 pi which is 3 over 2 pi and then if I want to make it even more detail, I can go into here, which is like half pi you divide half again. You should know this one should be pi over 4. And then this one will be, uh, here you just divide again. So you, it's like pi over 4, 2 pi over 4. So this one will be 3 pi over 4. And then if I, this one I divide, this is 4 pi over 4. So this one will be 5 pi over 4. This one will be 6 pi over 4. So this will be 7 pi over 4. Alright. So if I use the calculator to check whether my graph is correct or not. So what I will do is, first thing is I want to make sure I change everything into the degree. Uh, change everything into the radian. So I just do shift menu, go into the angle unit, I go into the radian. Alright, then I will insert my whole equation. 1 minus 3 sine 2x and then I tap enter uh, the cost one I think is unnecessary so I can just delete it if I do not want it I can just delete tap enter again all right so right now I want to from 0 to 2 pi I will just insert the 2 pi here and then, and if but based on my graph here I want each of it start with the pi over 4 so then I will tell my calculator I want to do the pi over 4 here. Yeah, because this calculator, they can only leave your answer in decimal. So you kind of need to know that pi over 4 is about 0 0.8. It's close to 0 0.8. 2 pi is close to like 6.28 like this. So I will type enter over here. Then I will kind of use it to check all my answer. Uh, is it correct or not or, or wrong? So like 0. I will add 1. So you can see at 0 here, my graph actually stop at 1. Okay. So this one is pi over 4 because, yeah, pi is about 3.1416. So divide by 4 is 0 0.785. So I will stop at negative 2. So pi over 4, I will stop at negative 2. So I, this one will be at another pi over 4. I will stop at 1. So I stop at 1 here. So this one is another add another pi over 4, I stop at 4. So you can see I stop at 4 here. So then I go down again. This one is add another pi over 4, I will stop at 1. I will stop at 1. Alright, then I go down again. This is add another pi over 4, I stop at negative 2. I stop at negative 2. And then I go down again. This is, I, will, I should stop at 1. I stop at 1. So I go down again. This one I will stop at 4 again. When I add another pi over 4. This one is the last one, I will stop at 1, I will stop at 1. So you can see, this is how 
useful when you have the calculator like this it can show in the table form and it give you all the coordinate you need to double check your graph is it correct or wrong in your exam so yeah i hope you find this video helpful so if you are interested to buy this calculator i will share the lazada link at my description below the link will bring you to the casual flagship store because right now uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.